Okay, this video is to show how to use uh, some of the features of the cleanup trail points uh, feature un under the admin section of My Town Trails. Um, when you go under cleanup trail points, uh, your trails will load. And it'll look similar to the map, uh, but there's some important things you want to know. When they come online like this and you see all these numbers, those are individual numbers of um, points on your trail that have been recorded. Now, um, each of these different colors and lines are set up as different segments. When I click on segments, you will see them. Now, when a trail gets imported, it defaults to blue. Um, you'll see here, though, that we have several trails that are all blue, some that are white, purple, and a green. Um, sometimes, like this particular blue trail, is made up of more than one segment. Now, one thing I wanted to point out is that, oh, and then there's a blue over here as well, and a blue up here. So those are different segments. When you see the numbers, you can actually drag the point. So I'm going to zoom in here to illustrate a point. You can, you can drag a point, and it will actually move that on the map. Now, you want to be careful not to accidentally drag a point. So uh, what you can do is, under Segments, if you hit this Lock, check mark and update that trail it will lock that trail um, and not show the numbers so I think that was this lower left one down here let me do a couple others here so it's a little more clear and I'll lock all the blue ones as an example okay so that was that one uh, I'll come down here to this blue one like that okay so then you won't accidentally move a point um, now you may want to move a point. I'm going to go through here and lock several of these at this purple trail. Actually, I'm not going to lock that. Let me show something here. So when you're recording with a GPS device, a lot of times your trail points may not line up exactly with previous ones. So you'll see that this purple trail doesn't actually connect with the blue. Um, and just to back out for a second and go to the trail page the map, you'll see what that looks like to the end user, right? Um, some of them aren't too bad, like this purple one, right? The user might be able to see that those are different, but if you're out there, um, you might wonder, is that actually connected? Another common thing is it looks like this green and white um, may actually overlap for part of it. I'm not sure if they're actually supposed to be separate or if they're supposed to be together. Um, but what you can do with the cleanup trail points um, tool is you can go in there and you can you can kind of connect those things and, and, cl and clean them up. That's the name. So I could drag this over, have it connect to this blue. Um, looks like there were a couple of points that were recorded together there. So drag that one out of the way. Looks like there were several that were all on the same point here. As I'm dragging these points, you'll see. All right, so here's a situation where we don't need all these extra points. So what I could do is I could just remove these three, and that's where remove point comes into play. So if I want to remove 54049, hit remove point, 54049, hit remove. It'll warn you because, you know, once it does it, it does it. you got to make sure you got the right number. Um, 54050. Sometimes if your GPS unit is on and you're just standing there, then it will record a bunch of points in the exact location. It just kind of slows down the page by having a bunch of extra points that you don't really need. Um, yeah, and the more points that are loaded, the slower the map will load. So anytime that, you know, if you see some where they're not really needed, like this is really a straight line from here to here, you could potentially remove this if it wasn't really needed. Now getting back to cleaning up the trail points, down here if you wanted the, the yellow and green to be in the same, if they actually were the same trail, sometimes you know you might be, GPS might be slightly off in both directions here, so you could actually drag these points on so they're over, overlapped with each other if you wanted to. I'm not going to do that because I'm not sure if you really want to do that or not. But here's another one down here. Um, where we want this to probably connect up here, perhaps. Um, so 
that's how you can use the, oh, the other part I wanted to mention is if you need to change the color. So we have this purple trail up here. Um, you know, it's supposed to be purple. We come down here and, all right, that's the only one that's listed as purple. Say that was actually supposed to be an orange trail. You can change the color, and when it comes back, that will change it. You can just switch it back pretty easily. And that will change that color. In the future, this is where we will be changing or, or updating the individual lengths of a portion of a segment and the difficulties. So stay tuned for that. Hope this helps with uh, cleaning up some of the, the trails.